Welcome to my what I got for Christmas 2020. Hi guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm doing my annual what I got for Christmas. I do this every single year. If you guys haven't seen my last two from 2018 and then I did it again in 2019 and I'm doing it right now. Just a disclaimer, like I say in all of my what I get for Christmas, I'm not trying to brag it in any way. I'm very blessed and fortunate to receive all of these gifts and I'm super lucky in life and appreciative. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is my favorite video to film and to watch other people's what I get for Christmas is. Like, I like it a lot, you know? The first thing I'm starting out with is my phone. I got the iPhone 12 Max Pro and I'm literally in love with it. I do need to get a case because I'm so clumsy and will drop it. So I really, really need a case for it. What do I want to start with? So I'm gonna jump all around so this video is not going to be very structured and I'm very sorry for that but it's kind of like whatever the closest thing around me is is what I'm gonna do okay <laughs> next thing I got is this Kate Spade New York bag it's completely sparkled and what's cool about it is it comes with the long strap so if I wanted to wear it as like a crossbody I can, which is really cute, and it's pink, my favorite color. Moving on to clothing, um, I decided to buy a lot of things from Misguided. Well, my mom, well, I picked it out, and then, so it's easier if I pick it out and just suggest things to buy, and then up to her if she wants to buy them or not. So, this is what she got me. <laughs> the first thing I got was this Misguided leather jacket. Looks like this. I do have a leather jacket, however, mine's extremely um, oversized and I kind of wanted like a medium, kind of oversized, kind of not jacket. I'm pretty sure this is going to be oversized, but, but not as oversized as my other one that I thrifted. I got a leather jacket. Then I got from American Eagle these jeans. They're just black jeans. Super cute, super plain. Everyone needs black skinny jeans in their life. Good black pair, you know? The next thing I got was from Urban Outfitters. It's just this really lightweight house t-shirt, I think you would call it. I don't know, it's kind of cropped, super lightweight, stretchy as heck, just really comfortable. I'd definitely wear this in the house. Oh, also this is from Misguided as well. This was also a Christmas gift. It's just a black top with bell sleeves, kind of, and it goes up to my neck, so it's turtlenecked, and it's black, and I got it at Misguided. Next thing I got from Misguided was this um, U-neck bodysuit. This would be really cute with jeans or even black jeans with boots. A staple, and it's really easy just to throw on and go and still kind of look put together, you know? Then I got this matching set from Forever 21, and this is the top. It reminded me of the Kim Skin, or Skims, you know, the fuzzy, fuzzy set, but it's in this like mauve color, I think it is. And I also got the long pants to go with it. This would be really comfy to wear around the house. Love, love, I love the color. I've never had anything that color before, so I'm excited. Next thing I got was another bodysuit in white, staple from Misguided, and it's kind of thonged, so you could actually wear leggings, like if you really wanted to. I keep saying it's a staple, but really, Everyone needs a good bodysuit, white one in their lives, you know? Next thing I got was another bodysuit. So this one's, I have something like this, but not exact. An off the shoulder, um, ruched side, uh, long sleeved on one side, and then obviously it's a bodysuit as well. This would be cute with black ripped jeans, even a light wash jean, and it'd be super cute with a skirt, which that's what I'll probably wear. Next thing I got was this two-piece set. So this is the skirt, like this, and then the matching top. And I know what you're thinking, Natalie, when are you ever gonna wear this? Quarantine is over and things sorta kinda go back to normal. I'm gonna take pictures of them. 
I could do it now like by myself but like where am I going you know what I mean like I have nowhere to go anyways back to the haul another white bodysuit from misguided also this is from misguided the whole two-piece set this is also from misguided a staple you could layer so many chunky necklaces with it I think it'd be really cute as well then I got this little slip dress from misguided it's super plain black you can't go wrong with a black dress ever this would be adorable with booties or with sneakers even or you could even dress it up and wear heels actually I liked it so much I got it in this pink color this is my absolute favorite color ever super short cute just to throw on I keep saying cute I'm so sorry but I think everything I got was cute I don't know someone take a shot every single time I said the word cute this is my favorite color in my favorite dress like I said, you could dress those up or you could dress them down any way would be really fun and adventurous. No, fun and exciting. I didn't say cute. Next thing I got was, so this was actually a mistake. I like looked up on the misguided website a t-shirt dress and they legit sent me a t-shirt dress. Which is fine, but this is it looks like a t-shirt more than a dress. So maybe that's what a t-shirt dress is. And that's also from Misguided. It'd be easy just to throw on with some sneakers and just a cute bag with your hair slicked. So adorable. Next thing I got was this dress from Misguided. I saw this on the website and I had to get it. It looks extremely 90s to me and just so fun and it's really really long so that's always a fun moment and it's really good quality as well then i got this dress it's a tube top dress i think this is going to be a little bit too big on me so i might have to shrink it but basically there's no there's no straps there's no sleeves you just throw it on and this as well can be dressed up or down which i really really like and i think it'd be really cute if you put your hair back in a sleek bun and then wear that with some chunky hoop earrings or even like little studs and then layer your necklace <gasps> so cute that'd be such a vibe next thing i got was this kate spade dress so if you guys didn't know or if you're new to my channel i work at kate spade and um, they like us to wear Kate Spade tire or something black or white or something in the dress code. But I saw this dress and I absolutely fell in love with it because like I said, this color is my favorite color, this light pink. And it has pockets. When a dress has pockets, I just have to have it. So I could easily wear this to work and it's my favorite color so I'll be in a good mood, you know? My logic. Next thing I got was this huge fluffy jacket. I think I got this one at H&M. I did. I got this at H&M, soft, long, and stretchy, which is surprising because you wouldn't think like this material would be stretchy. And I feel like I missed the trend when everyone wore these kind of jackets, you know what I mean? I definitely missed that train. So I'm gonna hop on and toot toot my way around town by myself. Next thing I got from H&M was this leather skirt. I don't own a leather skirt and I think this would be adorable if I wore boots with it or even a bodysuit. It'd be fun just to go out or take pictures with. Next thing I got was plain blue jeans from American Eagle. I love American Eagle and I could wear these to work. They're nothing special. There's no rips or anything in them because I can't wear rips to work, like ripped jeans, which is fine. Next thing I got from Misguided was this pink, once again, my favorite color, stretchy. I want to say it kind of reminds me of the Skim set, but this is in light pink and it's a crop top. Next, my mom got me this beach towel because I live in Florida and I'm always at the beach in my old beach towel has seen her last days I think so she's been replaced that will be fun when it's summertime next thing I got for free was this um, blanket from American Eagle because it was like a free gift and I was like I want the blanket so thanks American Eagle next thing I got was this skirt from H&M once again cream with all these lines I like this because I could wear any bodysuit with it oh I'm holding it sideways my bad I like this because I could wear any bodysuit I could wear cream 
um, brown, blue, black, and it would still match. Next thing I got were these mom jeans from American Eagle. These actually have rips in them. These remind me of my blue ones that I used to wear all last year, but I lost a little bit of weight and my blue ones don't really fit me as well anymore. They're just kind of baggy. Next thing I got was this little tiny beanie hat. I got this on Shein. Then I got this turtleneck sweater from Urban Outfitters. Cream, super cute, and soft. Then I got this brown turtleneck. I know what you're thinking, Natalie, you got a lot of turtlenecks. Yeah, I do, I like a little turtleneck moment. Um, I got this one on Shein. Um, it's very stretchy and big, like oversized, I would say. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be that scratchy like wool material. Thank goodness it's not because this is really, really soft. Next thing I got from H&M was this cream sweater. I thought it'd be really cute to wear with the skirt or even with jeans or leggings if I wanna like wear them down. And once again, that's a turtleneck. Next thing I got were these leggings. I also got the top two from Shein, both of them. They kind of match, but not really, because I was kind of going for a matching set, but they didn't have a matching set in this like tannish color. So I tried. They're close, but not exact, which I'm kind of sad about, but I don't think anyone would know unless they're like really close to me. Next thing I got from Misguided is my favorite legging set, or my favorite workout set. This is the blue set. Um, a couple months ago, I got the pink set, and it's my absolute favorite. However, sad to say, they sent me the wrong size, and I even checked back on my order to see maybe if I made the mistake, and I didn't, and they sent me a 12, and 12 to 14, and I was like, I'm not a 12 to 13. Someone messed up. So instead of returning it, I just tie it with a hair tie to make it fit me better. But yeah, these are my size. And I'm really happy about it because it's light blue and white. And then I also got the matching sports bra to go with it. Next, I got these leggings also from Misguided. I like the ombre light pink to dark pink or dark pink to light pink. And they're really stretchy. Then I got these leggings from American Eagle. These are the offline in navy because I've never had an, like a good navy pair. I've always just done black, so I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit. You know, my feet are really cold, like almost all the time. Even though I live in Florida, which is kind of weird, like why would your feet be? Anyways, my mom got me these fuzzy slippers, so they're just so fun. And then she also got me these little socks. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Whoa, my foot. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Um, she got me these little socks because I love fuzzy socks. Next, I'm doing shoes. So I got these boots at a little tiny boutique down in South Florida, and I'm obsessed. Then from Misguided, I got these sneakers. They're just plain white sneakers. Then I got these white leggings from Shein. I've always wanted white leggings, however, I don't know, I just could never find it. And I'm wearing the matching sports bra underneath, but the sports bra is from Aries. Then I got this hoodie on accident from Misguided. They accidentally sent me it, and I know I didn't order it, but it says, it says bad influence on it, and I was going to give it to my boyfriend, but I low-key like it too much, so I'm not going to. No offense to him, like he could just borrow it if he wanted it. Next thing I got, okay, so I ordered this back in March, and it's the Justin Bieber Ariana Grande hoodie. And on TikTok, a lot of people received them, and apparently they looked awful, and so it literally took March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 10 months to get this stuck with you hoodie. Um, I don't know why it took so long, but it did. And apparently like there was a lot of complications with the hoodie and that's why. However, this showed up a week before Christmas. So I'm so happy it did. I love, 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 love that hoodie. Next thing my sister got me was the Revlon um, new and improved power of a dryer volume of a styler like the little brush thing this is amazing i'm never drying my hair with a blow dryer ever again because this it like makes your hair look like you walked out of the salon it's amazing so the next thing i got which i think is super important because right now we live in a world that 
requires face masks if you're going out and I'm a huge germaphobe. So I got a lot of masks. This one is going to be my favorite one, I think. Well, one of my favorite ones. It's completely sparkly, but it's kind of hard to breathe in. So next I got the Stuck With You mask. Looks like that from Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande's merch. Then I also got this one from their Stuck With You uh, merch, and it says Stuck With You. I like this one a lot. Next, I got this three pack of masks from, I wanna say, I think she got them from Ulta, my sister, but this is the first one. It's just this leopard cheetah print. Then I got this plain pink one because pink is my favorite color. And then I got this tie-dye pink one as well. Then on Shein, I got this cheetah print one. Looks like that. Got a butterfly one because it all came in a pack of three. And then I got this one, which I'm obsessed with. It's like a tannish color. So those are my masks. I'm super proud of all of them. Next thing my mom got me in my stocking was this first aid kit on the go because I'm always hurting myself because I'm a clumsy human being. Next thing I got were these mini Instac um, film for my film camera. I'm obsessed with this. I actually have a whole entire book. I want to say it has like five years worth of Polaroids in them. I'm obsessed. It's pretty bad. Moving on to makeup, my sister got me the Kylie uh, Cosmetic Bronzer in Toasty. This is my favorite bronzer and I sadly dropped my old one and it completely shattered. So, and it was reused like a lot. So I can retire that one. Next thing I got was this Naughty Huda Beauty palette and I saw this online and I had to get it. Colors are absolutely incredible. The packaging alone is just, I mean, her products all together are amazing, but how beautiful. But come on, these are beautiful colors. So that's it for um, makeup. Oh, and I got gel socks. Um, I got these face razors, but I really use them for my eyebrows. And if I wear wigs, then a razor like them to make it look kind of more real. Then I got this Slay the Day four pack makeup brush collection. They're all black. So it has a powder brush, an angled brush, a fan brush, and a bronzer brush. Cute to cute. Then every single year my mom buys me at least one book because I do love to read, especially poetry books. So she got me this every word you cannot say. And I'm so excited to read this. I'm going to Nashville for New Year's with my boyfriend, so I will definitely be reading this on the plane. I think she got this in Urban Outfitters. I could be totally wrong though. Then I got this Kate Spade laptop case. Once again, you guys know this pink is my favorite color, so I'm so excited to use this. Next thing my sister found was this Thank You Next Body Mist by Ariana Grande. And it smells like, I don't even know, it smells so good. And I didn't even know she made body mist, which is kind of stupid of me, but she did. And it smells amazing. So for my big reveal of my big gift that I was not expecting this year, but asked for and I didn't think I'd get it because it was just one of those things I said and my mom remembered and I opened it and I was like, no way. So I got this huge Keurig pink machine that fits anywhere and it makes the perfect amount and you guys can't even see it because of my ring light but it's pink and what's really cool about this is it's pink and it's Keurig and um, I don't really drink coffee I drink tea so I'm gonna have to get some tea for this but I'm so excited it makes one coffee all I have to do is add water fast and fresh brewed your perfect amount six to 12 ounces. Anyways guys, that is it for what I got for Christmas. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys got for Christmas and definitely comment what your favorite gift was that you received or even if you gave away, I'd love to know. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I wanted to take a moment to thank my mom and my sister for spending money on me and getting me stuff for Christmas. This was beyond and above insane and I'm so lucky and so blessed 
to have everything. Yeah. I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And I will see you guys in my next video next year. Bye, guys. Oh, also, I totally forgot. My boyfriend got me the cutest gift. It's an elephant. He got me an elephant. I have a really cute boyfriend. I have a really cute boyfriend. Oh, I'm